Hello again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans! For today's opening here on the Poke Capital, we've got a booster box of XY Breakpoint, which has the shiny Gyarados as the secret rare. You can also find cards like Greninja Break, which, if you don't already know, got second place for Masters in Worlds. Uh, we actually reviewed that deck uh, last week, I believe. Uh, well, we, as in me and Cody, the actual owner of the deck, actually reviewed it. The actual guy that got second place at Worlds. And we also had a Worlds rematch with him the following day. I'll try to put one or both of those up the ad cards in case you want to check those out as well. Let's just take all these packs out and uh, let's get right down to business here, shall we? I will show you the commons in the first couple of packs and then uh, so as to get overly repetitive and redundant for myself and for you guys as well. I will show you just the uh, uncommons and above. So we started off here with a Petty Lil, Drowsy, Corsola, Froki, Feral Seed, Frogadier, Slowbro, Aromatacy, Reverse Sigilyph, and a Feral Thorn. Let's just kind of figure out how I want to get my piles here on the side to be as efficient as I can here. It helps if I open the packs a little bit better. Let's see. So the codes aren't backwards, but if I show you the side, then you guys know if it's going to be a hollow or not. I don't know if you guys mind that or not, but uh, yeah. First pack was a green code, we didn't get a hollow. Now we're getting something, we're getting something. So I try not to show those on camera, because otherwise you're going to know. Shelter, Blitzel, Feral Seed, Electabuzz, Numble, Delinquent, Gabite, Reverse Valley, Froakie Reverse, and Scizor EX with Steel Wayne and Gale Thrust. So yes, Scizor and of course Mega Scizor are in this deck, or this set, as well. So there is our first hit, and there is a Mega Scizor pack art uh, right away as well. So, I'll keep trying to go like this, pull the codes off to the side, just so, so I flip over right away, you'll see the code back, and then you'll know. And uh, we can skip the commons now moving forward, I think, until at least we get to that last pack, Lash Hands for Glory. Sigilyph, Max Potion, Lapras, Radicate Reverse Rare, not a bad Radicate, nor is the one Evolutions. The ability Antibodies, this Pokemon can't be affected by any special condition. And Dirty Shock doesn't really matter, but your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, and discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to that Pokemon. And then a Luxray. Uh, but the Radicate Break, I can't remember how much damage that does offhand, but... Uh, I, on PDCGO, I built a deck that used Radicate Break and Ariados. And uh, either the deck that sets up right away and does, uh, ooh, Maxi looks are very nice. Either the deck sets up really quickly for me, or um, it just totally flops and falls flat on its face. So uh, I haven't been able to make that deck consistent enough, but it's still a fun deck to play on PTCGO, especially when it sets up properly, because you can hit for some pretty big numbers for not a lot of energy. So you can do quite a bit of damage with it. Uh, and uh, oh, Double Reverse Valley in that pack, very nice. I always love uh, the reverse stadiums that have the you know the dual effect. Cause they just look really snazzy in shiny form. And that's the one reverse I usually you know put in a sleeve too for the set. So very nice pull there. Uh, but yeah, Ariados puts both actives to sleep. If you have Radicate active, it's not poison because of the Poke Bot or the ability there. And uh, doesn't matter if it's the break or not because it still has the same abilities. So uh, you can poison your opponent. And I think the Radicate Break does more damage if they have a special condition or something like that. I can't remember. I don't remember if it's this set or... I think it's in this set. Maybe we'll see it and then we can describe it better. But moving on, we got Stanler, Swana, Tierno, Arcanine Reverse, and a Meowstick. With Energy Present. Attach two Energy cards from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. If it was a basic Pokemon, it might be like decent as like a one or two of in a deck. Maybe in a four of, just so you start with it ideally to get that energy acceleration, but as a stage one, it's not really worthwhile. Psychic's Third Eye, All Night Party, Gabite, Shelter Reverse, and Garchomp with Turbo Assault, and Bite Off. I'm actually gonna set, uh, set a couple of cards aside here to possibly talk about later, maybe. We'll see, I don't know. Kiss, I, you know, run out of things to talk about besides just saying the names and such, but you know, you know. Palpitoad, Luxio, Dunsparce, Gibble, Seismitoad, Siphon Off, and Shaky Fall. Alright. Three and two. We got a Lapras, Gabite, 
Slow bro. Garboder Reverse Rare. That is a solid pull. That card is very, very, very prevalent in competitive play right now. Thanks to that Garbotox ability. If this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool card attached to it, each, each Pokemon in play in each player's hand and in each player's discard pile has no abilities except for Garbotoxin. Uh, so, that shuts off things like Shaman's set-off ability, set-up ability, turns off things like that Raticate ability as well, turns off Ariados' ability to poison, turns off Hypno's Goodnight Baby's ability, which makes, duh, that's the card that makes Snorlax GX more viable. Uh, turns all that stuff off as long as there's a tool attached to Garboder. And right now, ooh, Golduck Break, nice, and a Zeb Striker. Uh, right now, there is no tool removal in standard format via trainer cards. Uh, the only way to remove tools is via uh, Rattaz ability, if you drop it to your bench, but it only works on your opponent's active. And Garboder will usually be on the bench, so unless you Lysander out Garboder and then put Rattaz on your bench, you're not going to turn off Garbotoxin that way. And then I believe it's Beedrill EX has tool removal as well. So very limited tool removal, which means once you got Garboder on the bench uh, with a tool, He's pretty much good to go, and you're going to shut off a lot of what your opponent can do. So right now, that is very heavily used in competitive play, and is doing very well in tournaments uh, in the right builds. So we got Dewblade, Scissor Spear Link, Great Ball, Hand Sham Reverse, and Ho-Oh! EX! Our second EX, plus we got a Break and a Hollow Air already. Doing a lot better, I'd say, already uh, than our Breakthrough box we did about a week or so ago. Uh, that box did not go very well. Uh, but I think I think we're gonna do better here today. Gonna do better today. All right, three and two. We got a, a Skrelp there, so uh, check out Skrizelp's channel too. Uh, he just did a big Pokemon card hunting video yesterday that if you guys enjoyed the Pokemon card hunting vlog I did a few weeks ago, you'll probably enjoy that video a lot as well. Got Cricketune, Cloyster, Swanna, Shelter Reverse, and another Garchomp. That is interesting. While it is obviously possible, it's not too common you get two of the same Hollow Rare from a CL Booster Box. But we already got two Garchomps, and that's the only Hollow Rare we've gotten. So, it makes it that much more strange that our first two Hollow Rare poles, you know, not including X's, are of the same Pokemon. Same card, but it just happened. So, there you go. Palpitoad, Psychic's Third Eye, Sigilith, Fighting Fury Belt Reverse, also very nice, and a Lilligant. Yeah, these are two of the more valuable trainer cards right now uh, in Pokemon. I think right now, again, this stuff changes, so I usually try to avoid saying trainer prices in videos. But as of this very moment, I think Fighting Fury Belt is about $3, probably more for the reverse. And Max Elixir, I think, has been somewhere in like the 4 to 7 range. Not sure where it is at this exact moment, but two very valuable cards that are more expensive than some EXs and a lot of breaks. So sometimes getting those cards are better than getting the EXs in this set. So just keep that in mind as well. Bursting Balloon, not bad. That was in the second place Green Ninja deck. Puzzle of Time, Stantler, Drag Algae Reverse Rare, and a Shiftry with Roll Up and Otherworldly Return. Otherworldly is like a really long word. Anyways, three and two. Misty's Determination, definitely not as cool as the one in Evolutions. Splash Energy, Potion, Esper Reverse, one of the cutest cards in this set, I'm sure. And another Garboder, this time in Hollow Rare form. So that's making this box better as well. Two Garboders in the box, and we're less than half of the way through the box so far. I think I picked a, a better box this time than we did for Breakthrough. So definitely pleased with that. We've got a Psyduck. Can we get two Psyducks one pack? We have done it before, so... I think we actually did it twice in our Breakpoint case opening, I think. Maybe I'll link that up in the ad card, and you guys check that out if you want. And hopefully that doesn't spill too much, but I think that's what happened. And don't worry, I didn't go running outside or anything, but... It, it was still... still made me happy. Still made me happy. And uh, we did not get two Psyduck one pack there, as you see. But if we do find the Psyduck Reverse in this box, I'll have to, you know, go back and see what the top five commons are and uh, see if we happen to get two in one pack. So I think that skipping the commons takes away from me is like the original effect of like, ooh, can we find that second one in the pack? But it's not Phoebus, so you know. Bursty Balloon, Luxio, Arcanine, Gabite Reverse, and a Pan Goro. So last pack from the first half of the box here. And it 
gives us the following. Splash Energy, Electivire, Reverse Valley, Tierno Reverse, and Adrapion. So not too bad so far, although we don't have any non-foil Fighting Fury Belts. So just one of each of those trainers total so far. Hopefully up with like three of each. We got the Reverse Reverse Valley. And uh, so far we got one break, three hollows, and two EXs. Again, breaks don't count as hollow rares, so we got five hollows so far. So we're actually off the pace, uh, but we're getting pretty good quality. Uh, the hollows we got so far are above average in my opinion. Uh, we got uh, Reverse Garboder as well, so not doing too bad. Another Psyduck, so another chance here at two Psyducks, one pack. And if you can't tell, we, we kind of like Psyduck around here. There we go, our second Max Elixir. Bayleaf, Perugly, Raticate Reverse Rare. So we will again on two Psyduck, one pack, but still a nice reverse. Is that our second reverse Raticate? I can't remember what the first one we got where I talked about was a reverse or a non hollow rare. I think it was a reverse though, I don't know. Reverse Valley, Frogadier, Cloyster, Gibble Reverse. I know we got that already. And Embor EX with Spiral Punch and Strawn Flare. That though is one of the least desired EXs of the set. I think Togekiss is uh, pretty down there as well. In Japan, Embor and Togekiss actually came in a deck, which I don't think I ever got around to opening on this channel. Let me just page through these here. Gibble and Raticate. And then we've got, yep, there's another Gibble. So two of that same reverse. Three, we got three reverse Gibbles and two Raticates. That is unusual. Uh, even more unusual than getting two of the same hollow I feel like is getting three of the same reverse in a box, but uh, I guess their uh, distribution isn't always as awesome as I think it is, but just a just a funky thing going on there. Gyarados Spirit Link, Scizor Spirit Link, Mile, another Reverse Valley Reverse. I'll take it, I'll take it. And a Clefable. So that's at least the third different reverse we've gotten at least two of in the box. And we're only like 20 packs in. 21, maybe 22. Very odd. Two reverse reverse valleys, two reverse radicates, three reverse gibbles. Odd times, odd times. Stantler, Cricketune, Cloyster, Arcanine reverse, and a Ferrothorn. And I'm pretty sure we looked through those reverses, there was Arcanine in there too. So we're just getting duplicate uh, reverses all day. Hopefully that means we can find a second reverse Pain Fury Belt and maybe our first reverse Max Elixir as well to really beef up this box further still. Pokemon Catcher, Psychic's Third Eye, All Night Party, Sigilyph Reverse, and a Camerupt. I think that's our first Pokemon Catcher of the box. Very, very odd distribution in this box, if I haven't made that clear enough. Three, two, there we go, our first non-foil Fighting Fury Belt. Heat more. Dunsparce, Froakie Reverse, we've gotten that before, and a Drapion. And I think Sigil Reverse we had before too. Basically at this point, every reverse we're getting is a duplicate, which is very strange. I don't know if I've ever had a booster box that had this many duplicate reverses within it, but first time for everything, I suppose. Palpitoad, Arcanine, Puzzle of Time, Reverse Greninja, nice. And a Manaphy EX. That's not a bad pull at all. Thanks to the ability Aqua Tube, each of your Pokemon that has any water energy attached to it has no retreat cost. So that's a nice little one or two of tech card in a lot of water-based decks. Uh, just makes them a little bit more viable when they have, you know, higher retreat costs and such. So you can, you know, move things around a bit more and such. Anyways, no full arts yet, but we still got a decent amount of our packs here. So hopefully we can find ourselves a full art. Gabite, Nuzleaf, Delinquent, Drapion Reverse and Eradicate. Right. I thought that was a duplicate reverse of Drapion, but we had a non hollow rare Drapion just a couple packs ago, too. So it was fresh in my memory, but not as a reverse, I guess. But that's okay. Durant, Luxio, Cricketune, Hone Edge Reverse, and our third hollow guard chump of the box. This box is all sorts of funky. My goodness. Hey, at least they're good cards we're getting duplicates of in many cases here. I mean, three guard chomps, it's definitely not the worst hollow in the set. I don't know if it's the best one, but it, it's up there. I, It's not as good now because of uh, Battle Compressor being out of the standard format as it was when it first came out. There's our third reverse Raticate. Wow. And a size of Toad. Um, yeah, when it first came out, it saw a lot more play. 
uh, thanks to cards like Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick and uh, Battle Compressor. Because of being a stage two fighting Pokemon, you could put it on your bench from the discard pile and as a basic Pokemon, basically. So it's a lot easier to get out and hits pretty hard for uh, not a lot of energy. Swana, Heatmore, Sudobudo, Gibble Reverse number four of the box, and a Trevenant with that nervous seed ability. So yeah, Trevenant Break is in this set, as is Eradicate Break, Greninja Break. This might be the best set as far as like competitive, competitively viable breaks are concerned. So far we only have the Gold Duck Break though, so hopefully we can find ourselves one of the uh, good breaks. Gabite, Nuzleaf, Delinquent, our third Reverse Reverse Valley, and a Hollow Agislash. This box is just all sorts of cray cray. But hey, it, it, it breaks up the monotony sometimes too. It, it, and usually when you open like a case of pro boxes, you get more oddities like that, which can make those more fun. But when you find a booster box that's really weird, it, it's a nice little change of pace, because otherwise you expect like no duplicates and you can almost guess what you're gonna get in the last couple packs based on what you haven't gotten as many of already. But when it's like this, it, it's just a total crapshoot. So it's kind of fun. A Dunsparce, Psychic's Third Eye, Electivire, Hone Edge Reverse, and a Meganium Hollow. Obviously opening cards here is always fun, uh, but just adds that extra, extra element of interesting uh, when we're getting three and four of the same reverse in a box, three of the same hollow rare. It's pretty wild, pretty wild. However, we don't have a full art yet, and uh, could use some more Fighting Fury Belts and Max Electors as well. But there's time, there's time. Uh, five packs left, including the one in my hand. Lapras, Frogadier, Slowbro, Sigilef Reverse, and another Amboriax. Ooh, that's not a duplicate we want to find in the box. But uh, there you go, uh, it's it's possible, at least in this box, you also get duplicate EXs. So uh, we've got five EXs, no full arts, one break, and uh, six hollow rares. So red 11, red 11. So we've gotten six in this half of the box. Only one more then is expected from these last four packs. Hopefully it's a full art, because uh, we don't want to get a box with no full arts. As fun as this box has been, as interesting, we still want to get ourselves a full art, because why would we not want a full art? We'll see. Potion! Palpitoad, Luxio, Froakie Reverse number three, I think, and Drapion. So three packs left. I'm hoping for a break, a full art, and uh, hopefully a Fighting Fury Belt and or a Max Elixir here as well. That would really round out this box nicely, I think. Durant, Bursting Balloon, Puzzle of Time, Luxray Break. Not the break I was hoping for, but hey, at least we got ourselves a second break and a Pangoro. All right, so we got two of the least playable, least viable uh, breaks in the set, but it's still better than getting just one break, I guess. Unless that one break was a Greninja, then that probably still be better than getting these two. But hey, it's all good, it's all good. Now we gotta find ourselves a full art. Bayleaf, Perugly, Great Ball, Greninja Reverse number two, and a Golduck. All right, guys, last pack. Last chance for glory with that Mega Scizor Pack Art. There's one of the codes for you. Sorry I didn't give any earlier. I wasn't thinking of it. I was too busy focusing on just the craziness of this box. But hey, let's see what happens here. Oops, I meant to show all the cards. I'm sorry. There's five. All right, so we got tr mm, Trubbish, Ducklet, Hoon Edge, Glammeow, Phantom, Aromatissi, Tierno, our final uncommon, is a Dewblade. Our final reverse is a Drapion, which we've gotten at least one of previously. And the final card of this opening is Eradicate. So, a very fun, interesting box. Uh, Pull-wise, still probably below average as we got no full arts and no good breaks, but still got a lot of good value along the way. Uh, we got two of each of the good trainers, one of the Fighting Fury Belts being reverse. We got two breaks, just not the, you know, the good playable competitive ones. We got three reverse, reverse valleys. I just page through these reverses once. I'm not going to point them all out, but I think we got at least two Greninjas, at least three Froakies, two Sigilyph, I think at least two Hornets, two Drapions, four Gibbles, three Radicates, I mean, two Arcanines, 
it was a really, really weird box, especially for the reverses here. I, I don't know if I've ever gotten four of the same reverse in a single box, but uh, just uh, make sure you guys are paying attention or, you know, make sure you know I'm not making stuff up here. Let me pull out all four gibbles here. There you go. Four Kimmy Gibblers in reverse. Wow. That's just very, very unusual. And equally unusual. Three of the same hollow air. At least it was a good one in Garchomp. We got two Garboder, including reverse, Edge Slash, Meganium. So six hollow rares. And we got five EXs. So we still fell one short. Two Embors, not very good. Scissor's all right. Man, if he's pretty cool. Ho oh, on the low end too, but like I said, that was a definitely a fun box. It was an interesting box. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Rock smash that like button. Visit our website, thepokecapital.com. We can get some booster boxes of your very own. I thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you back here tomorrow for some more Pokemon goodness.